Stickler syndrome is a genetic condition that's rare but can cause major problems for many people who have it. Joint problems, hearing loss, cleft soft palates, even blindness. There's no cure, but doctors at Mayo Clinic are working toward managing symptoms so people with Stickler syndrome can lead full, productive lives. Katie Houchin and her mom, Pat, have a lot in common. They both enjoyed challenging the men in their family to a game of pool. That was nice. <laughs> and they also share a rare genetic disorder called Stickler syndrome, which was first described at Mayo Clinic by Dr. Gunnar Stickler in the 1960s. Symptoms can be severe, but they can also be very subtle. My symptoms are so mild that it really had just been I was a clumsy child. Katie's symptoms are more obvious. Yeah, I have arthritis in my uh, elbows, knees, ankles, um, and I have some retinal problems. In addition to arthritis at an early age and eye problems, other symptoms include hearing loss and the bones of the central part of your face may be smaller and the soft palate may not form correctly, resulting in a cleft soft palate. It's a disorder of a particular protein in the body called collagen. Dr. Norale Linder says collagen is part of our body's connective tissue, which holds our bodies together like mortar between bricks. Your body's mortar consists of a recipe of proteins, including collagen. The collagen's made up of fibers that wrap together to form cables. These cables hold cells together. People with Stickler syndrome have a genetic mutation that disrupts collagen formation, making certain parts of their bodies more susceptible to wear and tear. There's no cure for Stickler syndrome, but regular monitoring can help people like Pat and Katie live full, wonderful lives. Katie sees her eye doctor regularly to make sure her retina does not detach and cause blindness. She had a surgery to prevent that when she was little. She also has to take anti-inflammatory medication for her arthritis. Stickler syndrome is passed down from generation to generation. If your parents have it, there's a 50-50 chance you will get it too. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.